What's up, guys? Got right, got something right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you. Trucking sucks. 2019. Fly. right here come on let's let's get up here and sit down let's go ahead and just let's fire it down or shut it down that's what we're gonna do uh what i've done was last week was mats last week i came out of mats on sunday <sighs> I'm getting short-winded here come out of mats on sunday uh i rode up the road uh, i was gonna hang out another day with one of my buddies um but I looked on the board and as a load I went and picked up uh, Sunday and delivered it first thing in the morning. And that load right here, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. This is Sunday and this started last Sunday. So with that being said, this load picked up in Monticello, Indiana and went to Holland, Michigan. It was $645 for 163 loaded miles. Let's see if I can set this up where I can show you guys that way i just want to tell you about it I, I show you about it all right let's see if i can get me myself set up here i'm i would have done placed you somewhere but i won't be able to do what i'm doing if the camera is stationary so we'll do that in a minute speaking of which before i dive into these numbers can y'all see that so with that being said here i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna put you right here Oh, get my old mount. Let me mount you up. I think you can. I think I can see you. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Oh, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Uh, I had the pleasure last the other night swinging by the house. Well, you done seen that video. Well, I went through the house and I had a package. Not only this. Be sure to uh, you know what's up with it. But check, check this out. Can you see that? I tell you what, if you can't see it, no worries because I'm on, oh yeah, you can see that. Now, can you see that? Yep, yep, yep. If you've seen my shirts, I got one in the mail. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And they are Hanes. I, I chose the Hanes. It is a Hanes shirt and yeah, pretty sweet. So, <laughs> now, go order one of my shirts. It's right down there. You, I, I see you looking at it. You can see it. That's it. And people need to quit texting me. I'm trying to record. So, let me get this back off since I showed you my shirts. And what we're going to do here is this load, like I was telling you. Let me crank you around here. It was... $645, $3.95 a loaded mile, 300, maybe I'm focused right there, 163 miles loaded. It picked up in Monticello and went down to Holland. That was load number one. Load number two was $1,800. I think I might have messed up. I hit a button on here. Let's browse back over this. 645. 395 on loaded miles per mile 163 miles monticello indiana holland michigan moving on the next load was 1845 dollars it came to a dollar 79 a mile for 1031 miles and this load went down to dallas and i know you're thinking why would you go to dallas well i'll tell you what you know what i got balls i got balls of steel uh but the thing about this load was this is a lot load uh, i think it was uh is there a weight on here i'm thinking is like yeah, it says 30,000 pounds, but it was not 30,000 pounds. It might have been 20. So it picked up in Elkhart, Indiana, and went down to Arlington, Texas, down there between, I guess it's more Fort Worth, um, 1845 on the on the rate, dollar 79. It's not the greatest, but you know what? As I'm always saying, if you're go if you're going into Dallas, book your load ahead of time, a day, a two in ahead of schedule. And that's what I did. I came out of Dallas with a $2,810 load uh, going to uh, DC. It's $1.82 a mile. As you see right there, it's 1,548 loaded miles. It says 
It says 9,000 pounds, but it's, it ain't by 6,000 pounds, which is uh, very good on my fuel. Let me show you guys what my fuel looks like. Pop up here. I've been, I've been driving very consistent. So 8.1 at 63 average. And if you look down here, 550 miles on the tank since I filled up. So this seven mile an hour truck looked like it just jumped up to an eight mile per gallon truck an hour I'm thinking here. anyway <laughs> 8.1 mpgs money $2,800 $1.82 a mile it picked up in Austin and I had a deadhead to go get it to go on right here to DC it is jump box and you I got another video where I vlogged that so that's coming up um i just gotta get those videos together i'm working on two separate videos right now one's a vlog and the other is another matt's video where me and all the guys were hanging out uh chet uh 007 robert josh rickards uh tim mr life is good uh all the uber guys um, <laughs> anyway that's another video i'm in the works i gotta edit it all out but anyway 2800 2810 dollars a dollar 82 now as I was saying in the beginning of this video, trucking 2019 sucks. The numbers are in. It sucks. Um, I don't know if you're good at math in your head, but I'll go ahead and tell you that comes to a total combined revenue of $5,300. That was from last Sunday until for to this Sunday. And let's see here. Yeah, let's pull up this just for. Come on now. I don't think this has any bad credentials on here, but if you can see this, this will let you know my logbook is up and it's current. So with that being said, we're gonna go down here to the date and the date is, you can see it right there. There's a lot of names on my calendar. But anyway, just take my word for that gummit. Look, you see it? Look at the highlighted number, seven. <laughs> Today is the seventh, with is Sunday. So I booked that first load seven days ago. Seven days now, it's Sunday. Um, I'm waiting for a delivery. Technically, it's gonna be eight days because I can't deliver until in the morning. And um, yeah, but $5,300 in seven days. Trucking sucks. Sure ain't no $8,000 or $9,000 week. Well, you know, hey, I'm here a day early. Um, yesterday not before last stopped in the house for a night so that was half a day at home but fifty three hundred dollars revenue so i broke it down even further what i went with was i forgot i didn't break it down the week in the total it's a dollar 93 a mile loaded miles for 27.42 dollar 93 or if you really want to get specific and this is the part of the, the part of this video that i don't like and i've got to cure this but you know for the sake of the revenues i made it happen um but i had too much deadhead with this this week the deadhead drops my average down to a dollar 62. yikes but no 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 worries it's all about the revenue at the end of the week 15 5300 my fuel bill was 1421 yeah, zero dude that leaves me with 3880 3880 now i'm gonna give you some quick numbers and quick math here to go along through your head um my truck trailer and insurance remember that 3380 my truck is 1145 a month my trailer is 321 a month my insurance i think it dropped down to 930 a month so that comes to 2396 and we're going to times that by 12 for 12 months comes to a, a yearly average of 28,752. We're going to take that and divide it by 52, and what that's going to give me is a weekly average. So that says my weekly average is $552. So on a year brought down to a weekly average, my truck trailer and insurance is costing me $552 a week. Okay, let's get out of here. I think that last number was 3880. Let's take off my costs. Let's just go 553. And that leaves me with 3372. 
3,372. Now, just for the shits and giggles, so 3,327. Look, guys, I didn't write this down, so bear with me if I forget these numbers. I only wrote down the mile. So we're going to take that 3,327, see if I can remember that. Um, I ran for a total combined 32.89. If I times that by 0 0.10 cents, it comes up to 328. I think I done forgot my numbers. <laughs> 328 on the maintenance. So I think it was 33.27 minus 328 for maintenance. That gives me a net of $3,000. Trucking sucks, 2019. Just saying. Trucking sucks, 2019. $3,000. Seriously? Oh, make more money this selling lemonade. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this. $3,000. Look, guys, you got to think how to rise. Winners never quit. And, well, quitters never win. See you, bye.